problem. problem. <sighs> it's no use. I can scarcely see my hand before my face in this snow. Not even us Bestrals dare traverse this expanse. The land is blighted by blizzards nigh the entire year round. Yet if Zenora's lapdogs were willing to brave it... Then they're looking for the blue. There's no other reason. But Ramona's the only one who knows where it is. Would they really risk their lives in this cold, without even a clue to steer them in the right direction? In any case, an enemy is an enemy, no matter the weather. We prepare for combat at once. here. Who did I offend to get stationed in the middle of this godforsaken tundra? <sighs> Sometimes it feels like our commanders are from another century entirely. Ma'am, we've spotted a group that appears to be the rebel army, and they're heading in our direction. What did you just say? Right when I was looking for a place to vent my frustration, too. Send word to all garrisons. We go on high alert. Now. This blizzard will be the perfect cover to strike our enemies down. at hand. By the grace of the Holy, guide me, O oh Father. It's my duty as a priestess. I'm prepared for anything. Is that all? Oh? 
You face me. Well fought. We march. To me. Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. Come then. Villainy ends here. A fine bout. <clears throat> the path is set. Ah. Come then. I've need of a rest. We march. The time is at hand. Onward. Your villainy ends here. Well fought. We march. The path is set. You're nothing. Gotta keep getting stronger. I advance. March. Onward. Splendid. You face me. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. To me, I've arrived. I must stand strong. I can win this. Are you impressed? I've not reached my ceiling yet. How can I help? My moment has finally come. No surprise there. Let me show you what a dark elf can do. Have you need of my bow? of Elheim. Order must be preserved. It shall be done. On my honor as Turenos. Well fought. Hope you've made your peace. Stay back. I'll make it cool. I can do it. Hope you've made your peace. You'd best make this count. I'm right next to you. Fortune favors you. I may disappoint. I'll fight as I'll try. There's no way. I suggest you. The end is upon you. Let me help. I can help. I aid you from afar. To better serve Ter, Rosal. Don't mind if I do. I'm pleased with it. My arrows fly even farther now. Anything you need. As you wish. That wasn't so hard. Onward. We might have a problem, Grey Sky. You're too strong. Fortune. Let's me. join our strength. I aid you from I'll above. I'll lend you my aid. My body aches, sir. 
face me and be cut down. I blossom ever bright in His Highness's honor. Let's see just how strong My I Griffin can get. Needs a rest. Your orders then. Is that all? I'm uneasy about this. I'm losing blood here. How might I serve? With haste. Simply ask Our if you need high. me. Won't take long. Who knows what might happen to you? On my honor as in service of the crown. Impressive, aren't I? I shall. I'm not feeling. How much punishment can you take? Fortune favors you. Is my undying spirit. I'll not let this go to waste. Take notes, Lex. It shouldn't come as a surprise. A shame, isn't it? <laughs> Anything you need. Setting off. Well, look at that. Whatever you wish. That's all? I made it. I advance. I've lost enough already. Make it quick. No hard feelings. Look what I found. Understood. The time is at hand. Is set. Time for payback. I'm right next to you. I aid you from afar. To protect the my skill with the bow grows ever higher. It just stings a bit, that's all.
sir. I don't want to admit it. Fortune favors you. I'll try. I'll fight as long. I as... aid you from afar. I will survive. I don't want to admit it. Fortune favors you. I'll stop you, my the fool. This it looks like my the tide doubt. I don't want to admit it, but I'm afraid. This battle is. I aid you from afar. Not good. I'll try. I don't want to admit it. I'll stop you myself. The tide now turns. The fools do nothing. I'm not feeling so confident. You impress. Don't even think about messing with me. This is nothing. There in a second. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Onward. There's no winning this. I must if you want. I'll make it quick. I've grown stronger. We may need this. Requesting further command. Your orders, then. Guide me, O oh Father. Departing. Good. I think this is the place. I'm here. As you asked. Did you need me? I advance. This could prove useful. It seems I've arrived. Guide me, O oh Father. I'm prepared for anything. My thanks. <laughs> to me. Your villainy ends here. My legs grow heavy. The time is at hand. Set. What should I do now? Fortune smiles upon us. The time is at hand. Onward. A brisk flight. Pleased with that, yeah. Splendid. The path is...
is set. Well then. This won't be fun. Better get out of here before things get worse. I will survive this. I must. Just a second. It would be foolish to continue on in this state. I'll do what I can. March. To me. Come then. <sighs> this is nothing. Here it is. The Bastoris Blue. And what do we do now that we have it? The moment Zenoira began marching on this cave, it no longer served its purpose as shelter. We will have to find a new spot to stash it away from prying eyes. <laughs> the Blue! <laughs> I never dreamed it would be this easy. What's the meaning of this? The meaning is that I played you for fools. The moment you heard we were after the stone, you would surely have to go check on it. Just as the great and mighty Elgor thought you would. Then Conrad running his mouth at the capital was just another part of your plan. Now, if you would, Lord Ryan, I present to you the Bastorius Blue. Excellent work. So you're the monster in charge around here. That's Lord Ryman to you, beast. But I tire of this. Thankfully, my magic will make quick work of you. No. This is the same spell that torments our kin. <laughs> Come, Elgor. We're done here. <laughs> How far the mighty lion falls. Enjoy your eternal sleep once you've torn your friends apart. Look out! <laughs> What manner of vision is this? A mere dream? No. A memory. This was the battle where I... I... I remember now. I'm no lion at all.
I hope he's okay. Worry not. Ramona is seeing to his ales as we speak. And I bring good news. His condition has stabilized. I expect he'll be up and roaring again ere long. <sighs> I'm so glad. Perhaps it would be best to explain his... circumstances, though. This will only take a moment. And he can recall nothing from before that point? I can't imagine how such a thing must feel. Indeed. It also means we know very little of his lineage. His family, his birthplace, none of it. It's the same for me, actually. I can't remember the slightest detail from before I met Ramona. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's been almost eight years now since Ramona took us both in. I was still pretty little, though, so my memory's kind of foggy. I remember being on a battlefield, just lying there. I knocked on every door in the area, yet sadly failed to find even a trace of Unifi's parents. And the only clue toward Morard's past was the Bastorius Blue, which he was clutching tight to his breast when I first found him. Neither of us had anywhere we could call home. At least, not that we knew of. So we started living with Ramona. Which is when she became your adoptive mother. By the by, Unifi, about that pendant of yours. Morard, are you sure you should be out of bed? I'm fine. Forgive me for worrying you. But my health is secondary to the blue. We have to get it back, no matter the cost. Where could Ryman have run off to? Dracodorina Citadel to the west. I'm almost certain. The city serves as Anoira's primary foothold in Bastorius, making it a natural destination for their most valued commander. Then we know where he must go. And considering all the hurt he's inflicted on the Bestrals, we can't let him walk free. We hurry west, to Dracodorina. Oh, right. You wanted to ask me something about my pendant. Haste is the order of this day, and so it shall be. There will be time for questions later. As long as you're sure. Come on, then. An ultramarine pendant with an azure gleam. Not to mention Morard's reaction to it. Perhaps this explains why the enemy wants the blue so desperately.